Now, Tinibu Bola Tinibu become a lion. President Adam Oboro Gambian president become a lion. Akufadu become a lion. Senegal president Makisala become a lion. All of them become a lion because it is now to fight against their brother. But to join your brother to fight against your enemy, they are unable to do that. The ECOWAS leaders, the African leaders who are included in ECOWAS, become giant right now. Become a hero right now. When it is to about to fight your fellow African, you become a hero. Why was Nigeria so adamant, so pushy about sending troops to Nigeria? There is certainly a reason to that. We want to protect the life of Bazoum. I'm prepared to abide by all resolution necessary to respond to this assault. No more time for us to sign a warning signal. It's time for action and we should walk our talks. Hello guys, you know, uh, as we all can see what is happening, uh, another new update from the fake uh, and the puppetric leaders from Africa. We have all seen that we have get new update from them. And this is a good idea to come out today to speak to my fellow Africans as usual. As where I always stand for Africa. And when I see so many people were asking too many questions that what is giving the African leaders a ball to become a lion to attack Nizer? So many people say this is these are not the African leaders we know, of course. These are not the old leaders that we know when it came to to stand for Africa or when it came to to fight for Africa. These are not the leaders that we know when it came to to speak for Africa or to defend the resources of Africa or to restore back the resources of Africa that was stolen by the Western peoples. These are not those leaders. But today those are the African leaders who become giant, who become lion in the name of attacking their fellow African country. They become lion. They become heroes right now. The ECOWAS leaders, the African leaders who are included in ECOWAS, become giant right now. Become a hero right now. When it is to about to fight your fellow African, you become a hero. When it's about to fight your enemies who were stolen from you, that is the Western peoples, France, EU. America, Ingalter, when it came to, to fight those peoples, you become a coward. You cannot even tell them the truth. We have been asking, and everybody should ask yourself this question. Why do leaders of Africa, who couldn't speak for Africa, not talk of to fight for Africans? When our African citizens have been molested and harassed, and, and, and they have been facing all kinds of difficulties in Western countries, None of the African leaders could become a giant to ask the Western countries why our peoples are dying in your country masslessly and nothing is being done about it. The migrations have started, a lot of the migrants. Look at what is happening in Tunis. What have happened in Tunis to our peoples? Nobody, there is no leader who become a lion to ask Tunisian government why are you throwing our citizens into Sahara to die? No leader. Today those are the leaders and if you check all the ECOWAS soldiers, their citizens have been thrown away from Russia, uh, from, from Tunis, to, 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 to throw them into Sahara. Because Nigerian citizens are there. Gambian citizens are there. Senegal citizens were there. Ghanaian citizens were there. The, the, the Tunis um, government threw those citizens in the Sahara. There is no African leader who became a giant. But when it came to, to fight their own African country, now, Tinibu Bola Tinibu become a lion. President Adam Oboro Gambian president become a lion. Akufadu become a lion. Senegal president Makisala become a lion. All of them become a lion because it is now to fight against their brother. But to join your brother to fight against your enemy, they are unable to do that. We are asking ourselves this question. What is giving the ball or what is giving the fitness to the art to the leaders of Africa to become a lion at this moment of time? And I will tell you today, no doubt, Bolatinibu Nigerian president have been paid and not only him. You think only Bolatinibu was paid to do this job? Bolatinibu was paid almost more than six point something million euro to do this job. President Adam Abaro, Gambian president, have been paid. EU have been paying them, and this is the fact. I will not lie to you. 
I have been telling you that I am not going to hide any secret from EU and I will point them directly to mention them in each and every of my videos if they are do if they are in act. EU have paid the ECOWAS leaders, the African leaders who are included in ECOWAS, EU have paid them a huge amount of money to do this job. And they have put a very big sanction on top of that money that we give you this money. If you couldn't fight Niger coup leader and restore back Bozum into power, we are going to ban EU visa or even Western visa because even America is trying to ban. To ban the, the ECOWAS leaders. Not to come to Western countries again and to ban all their government official workers, they will never set their foot in Europe. That is making them, that is giving them bold. So those who were asking who, what is giving the ball to the African leaders to, to become a lion when it came to fight their own brothers, this is your answer. And I give you this answer today for you to understand that your coward leaders who are afraid when it came to fight for Africa, when it came to stand for their peoples, they all keep quiet. None of them were speaking. I will remind you of so many problems that these leaders who joined together today to become a lion can be a lion at that moment to fight for their own peoples. But today they become a lion to fight for the freedom of Western peoples. The freedom of Europeans, the freedom of Americans is not even a freedom. The development of Europeans and the development of Americans. Today African leaders become a giant to make sure that Europe has its ways to steal in Africa still. When we are trying to stop that rubbish, when we are trying to stop that supremacy that they call white supremacy, when we are trying to stop that slavery on Africans, the nonsense that on Africans, we have our own leaders who are blocking us, saying that no, it cannot happen, we must remain as a slave, we must still be a slave to the West. I think the leaders should be the one to pump up and become the first peoples to come out to say it's enough is enough, we are not going to take no nonsense from the western countries and we are not going to become a slave to the western countries anymore. But if the youths wake up today and some of the militaries like Mali militaries, Burkina Faso militaries, Niger militaries wake up today to say we are no more going to become a slave and the leaders are saying no, 